What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry Vlogs. Good morning, Cherry Blossom. It is currently 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm up. Um, my house is a mess, okay? The laundry, the laundry. The laundry, this is my daughter's laundry, this is my laundry, and there's more laundry. Your girl still don't got no furniture in her living room, but it's a mess. The laundry's overflowing. So today we're going to tackle some laundry, washing machine, and we're also going to get this kitchen together. As y'all saw in a previous video, I was in a hospital, so yeah. Now your girl's back home. It's time to clean this kitchen. <clears throat> it's time to get some laundry done. And I just have a washing machine. I do not have a dryer because the way my kitchen is set up, in order for me to have a dryer, I will have to put a dryer over here in this area. And this is where my dining room table is going to go. I already ordered my dining room table, but it was on back order. So it's legit going to take like a month for the table to go. If I would have got a dryer, it would have had to come like over here by the window because there's a piece that has to go out the window, I believe and yeah so i don't have a dryer but your girl did get and now your girl got wi-fi okay we are in action <clears throat> your girl got wi-fi so my shop will be up and running very soon so i had to get some good old clothes racks which i don't mind using and here's supposed to be two clothes racks that i got from amazon i will leave the link for these clothes racks down below i don't know maybe you want to get some clothes racks too okay yeah i'm going to start by straightening up the kitchen well, actually, no. I'm going to start by sorting the laundry. Then, while a load is going, I'm going to straighten up the kitchen, make myself some breakfast, and so on for it. My blood pressure machine here. I do not have high blood pressure, but what's going on with me is causing my pressure. To I definitely have to um, <clears throat> keep up with um, my pressure to make sure it's not going too high or anything like that. I'm drinking... A ginger ale bright and early usually i'll make me a pot of tea but right now i'm feeling i'm feeling like drinking a ginger ale so that's my business okay you girls still don't have a tripod so we just going to make it work and do what it do let me come over here i'm gonna set y'all up while i sort these clothes and then we're going to see if this machine can really do what it do. Then we're going to put together some racks and we're going to get that kitchen in order. So, let go. And by the way, it is a very nasty and gloomy day here in New York. It's supposed to rain all day. So, why not do some laundry and get my house together, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on tip, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down. So my clothes are sorted. These are my delicates. These are my whites. And these are my colors. I'm going to start with um, the colored clothes. And then I'm going to see how much space I have on my racks. The only thing about having a rack. The only thing about having a rack is. It is. You are limited to how much clothes you can wash in a day. Because what you going to do boo, when you run out of space. But um, yeah. I'm going to start with my clothes. But here. I don't think that I am going to wash her clothes today. Or it's not here. Like. You know, she's having a sleepover right now. So I have a little bit of time to get to her laundry. And then I kind of want to wait until she comes back with her dirty clothes so I can wash all of that together. I might end up getting a third um, clothing rack, but 
I don't know. Maybe I'll just a little drier over here in this corner. But I need to get my dining room table first and get that set up and see how it's looking okay with being able to wash my clothes and having them clean and letting them air dry. But we're going to make it do what it do. Let's put this back inside. Hold on. Let me take this out. Let me put these clothes back inside. And then we're going to take them to the washer. And then your girl about to wash her first load of clothes in her new washing machine. I went to um, CVS. There's a CVS right here by my house. And I normally don't go to CVS and stuff to buy detergent. But I just went there and I bought this little detergent. This little detergent boo. And this joint was like, um, how much did I pay for this? Where's my receipt? I think I paid like $12 for this. It, was, it had to be like $10 or $12. I was like, CVS, CVS, y'all are wilding $12 for the little gang. So I don't have my full laundry stuff set up. Like, um... I'm going to put a shelf right here so I can put my detergent, I can put my scent boosters, my bleach, and everything else that I normally use to wash clothes. But right now, this is as good as it's going to get. So yeah, let's load this bad boy up. And look, this is the machine. It is super deep. Like, when winter time comes, I will definitely be able to wash blankets and everything else. Growing up, we always had a washing machine in our house. One thing about my mom, she's like, I don't care what we're going through. We always going to have clean clothes. Even if we didn't always have a dryer, we always, always, always had a washing machine. So I am definitely not about that laundry life. I had to go to the laundry one time since being here in a new place. And I was like, oh, somebody get me out of here. Like, it's really, really not for me. Okay. So I'm just happy to have my washing machine. And at least my drawers is going to be clean, period. All right, so that's all the clothes from my laundry bag. Oops, something fell out on the side. And then this is how the machine is looking. Right, where do we put the detergent? The detergent goes in here, in this cap. And we, did, um, we didn't wash clothes, but we did let the machine run a load with nothing in it. Well, the guy did when he installed the machine, just to make sure that it was good. All right, so now, we're gonna pour this in. Oops, you girl done missed. They said that's the max, but I always go over the max, okay? Because that's just who I am. And I hope this wash good. I feel like that's still not enough detergent for all these clothes. But we shall see. We shall see. All right. Let's close this. Let's press the start. And I didn't know that this is a um a smartphone machine. Like this could connect to your phone. So it's on now. Now we have to choose a setting. I'm just gonna put normal. A normal wash is 59 minutes. Um, normal plus pre-wash is an hour and 24 minutes. Delicate is 57. Better is 55. I'm not sure what downloading means, so I probably won't be using that feature, but I'll figure it out. I have the manual, I will definitely read it. We have a waterproof feature, which is an hour and three minutes. Deep clean, 57 minutes, and heavy duty, an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm just going to do a normal wash, and then I'm going to do warm water. Um, my spin is on high, and my soyu, let's put, mm, when you put the soyu to heavy, it's like an hour and 41 minutes. Let's just keep the soyu normal. And then special care, I'm going to leave that alone. All right, so we're just going to keep it with these settings right here. 59 minutes for a regular wash. Oh, your girl didn't even close the laundry cap. Hold up. All right, so let me push this close. And let's hit the start button. It's sensing. Wow. I'm loving how the water's coming out. Okay, my clothes about to be real clean. I don't like that that detergent just came out in one shot like that. I wanted it to disperse around all the clothes, but 
it's cool it's cool now it's saying wash wait a minute how does she got the 39 minutes it was just on 59 uh-uh uh-uh all right we still gonna rock with it let's just see what happens The clothes are getting pretty saturated, which I like. I want to see how I really wash. I think I'm going to end up pouring the detergent directly on my clothes or maybe switching over the pods. I'm not sure I'm a fan of how the detergent came out. And now they put in more water. I don't know what's happening. Okay. There is bubbles in the bottom, like, I don't know if y'all can see through the glass that much, because the glass is wet. But it is soapy, I do see the soap in there. I feel like, is it even washing my clothes? What the heck is happening? My clothes are not even wet, hold up. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this machine to wash and do whatever it's gonna do. I'll come back to y'all. I don't know if I'm feeling it, cause I feel like it's not even really washing my clothes. I don't know, we will see. But I will come back to y'all and let y'all know how it's going. But for right now, let's move on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's move on. I probably have to wash those clothes twice. I don't know. It, it just don't, it don't look like it's doing a good job <laughs> already. But let's move on. This bad boy over here. I'm about to um open this. Oh wait, the machine think it's adding more water, which it definitely needs to. Yes. Okay, okay. Now we looking like something because my clothes wasn't even wet before. I really wanted a machine with the agitator, you know, that big white thing in the middle, because I feel like it's going to cause friction with the clothes and like shh. Sh it's going to actually rub the clothes and clean it. But I don't know if the agitator's doing his job. Like, my clothes need to be tussled and tossed and moved around. Okay, it's still putting more water. The machine like, hold up, hold up. We're still a little dry out here. We're still a little dry out here. I'm going to let the machine do what it's doing. And I'm going to try to put together these racks. And then get my kitchen in order. Then make me some breakfast. And just go from there. So... Let me get the stuff ready to do these racks. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me. Say you're a good guy, make me believe it. Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it.
It's looking good. Pretty sturdy. I'm not sure what this is for. I feel like maybe I missed something, but there's nothing else in the box. This is how it's looking. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven racks for me to hang stuff on. All right, so the machine's doing something. Let's see what it's doing. I think it is, right now it's still on wash. It drained the water out and it's washing for a second time. Now it has 25 minutes left. Now it's really looking like something. I think, is this draining the water out now? All right, so that's what we have with the machine. And now it is on rinse. So I guess it's about to fill up, rinse, and we got 20 minutes left on the load. All right, so we got one rack done. I'll be back with the second rack. All right, so here are the two clothes racks. I put them right here <clears throat> in front of the window so I'll be able to hang my clothes up. Honestly, I don't know, we'll see. For now, this is good. I either might buy another clothes rack or Christmas will be here before you know it. Like we will be in December sooner than later. So I might just end up getting me a dryer once the holidays hit, you know, appliances and stuff like that go on sale. But I'm really not, I'm really not feeling having a dryer. But I'm also not feeling being limited on the amount of clothes I could wash. So yeah, these are the two racks. That's that. Here's my dirty kitchen. We're going to get it together. And here's the machine. So right now, it's on spin. And it has eight minutes left. And it's spinning pretty good. I must say, it's spinning pretty good. Put the light on for y'all. Alright. So while the machine is spinning and it's on its last eight minutes, I'm just going to um start to... Get the kitchen clean. Um, I do want to organize my refrigerator and put some organizational stuff inside of there, but that's gonna be for another video because I didn't receive all of the stuff. One of my students, um, if you don't know, I'm a teacher, I've been working with kids for over 15 years. Like, yes, your girl has her credentials. But one of my students, um, their parents bought me this. I'm like, oh, that's nice, it's really cute. Um, I didn't put anything in it and I just put it right there for right now how my students They always showing me love like they parents be buying me gifts. I'm like boo. What is this? Like I be feeling like the Don Dada up in my school But yeah, my parents really really love me and they always just randomly buying me gifts buying me stuff like and I'm an open and honest person. I'll talk to them about regular stuff like, yeah, I'm moving and it's been a struggle or whatever the case may be. And then they'll they'll pop out and be a woman gift. No, no matter the size, no matter what it is, I'm always very, very appreciative because they don't got to do nothing for me. They don't got to do nothing for Cherry at all, okay? They don't have to do nothing for Miss Cherry. All they got to do is send their kids to school every day. But my parents be showing out and they be going above and beyond. Um, this cup, one of my teachers, I mean, one of my parents brought me. And then I have a cup set up there, but I didn't open it yet. One of my parents brought that for me as well. My parents have bought me perfume, pocketbooks, jewelry. Like, shout out to any child that has been in Miss Cherry's class. And shout out to all the parents because it really is a group effort. And I appreciate the parents appreciating me for what I do in a classroom with their children. But on another note, okay, let's get this kitchen together. taking some of the stuff out the refrigerator that I know needs to go right now I don't have um, a microwave yet so this right here is taco sauce that I needed to heat up so I had to just put it in a pot heat it up and then pour it in a cup and we're using it like that this is some leftover rice and beans I had normally I wouldn't throw away this much food but I made this three days ago I don't wait that long to eat leftovers is a dub for it and I would have been ate it but 
I've been sick and you know in the hospital and stuff so that's why these leftovers never were eaten but that's gonna go in the garbage and then here is teriyaki chicken um I've been trying to eat a lot of brown rice or quinoa so this is teriyaki chicken brown rice this is gonna get dumped out as well and I think that's it I do have a whole melon that I want to cut today. So I'm gonna put this over here because I'm gonna cut that. These cookies I brought from, um, where did I buy these from? Um, from CBS, trash, trash, trash. So these are going in the garbage, leftover food and strawberries that I let go bad. So all of this stuff going to the garbage again i will do a separate video of me like deep cleaning my refrigerator and organizing it but for now boo that's it that's all actually start washing the dishes here's my machine and it's done I thought it would make a noise or something when it's finished but it doesn't it legit it's just quiet and it stops I mean I do like how quiet this machine is let me see if this opens yep and just like that we can open it and this is how my clothes are looking let me smell you gotta do the truth you gotta do the true test. Let me smell the underarms of stuff. Let me see. I mean, it dried it really well. It will take a short time for um, these clothes to dry because at this point they feel damp. They don't even feel soaking wet. You gotta smell the crotch part. <laughs> but yeah, this is the machine. The clothes have washed and dried. They smell good and um, at first I was a little sketchy, but I'm feeling satisfied with the machine. Now I'm about to hang these clothes up on the rack and then get, get these dishes washed. Get, get. I'm not proud that my dishes look like this, but I'm proud that your girl's in here tackling right, it. So this is how the clothes rack is looking. It really, really holds a lot of clothes. Y'all saw how much clothes I put in my first load and I still have space on this rack. So... I am going to do another load. It's exciting to know that I'm able to do two loads with these clothes racks. I'm going to um, put my next load in and because it is such a gloomy, gloomy day outside and it's a, like a good breeze coming through the window. I don't have to have the air on or nothing. It's just a good breeze. Um, these clothes will dry super fast. I do like the way the machine washes the clothes. At first, let me turn. At first I was a little skeptical, like hold up, hold up. but. It got it together and it washed the clothes very, very well. Just with using detergent, no scent boosters, no nothing else. My clothes smell really, really good. And it dries the clothes. Like basically my clothes are halfway dry already. Like they're just damp. They're not even wet. So I know they're going to dry super fast being here on these clothes racks with this good breeze coming through the window. So we'll wash this low right here. And then I'm going to add it to the clothes rack. And no matter where I live at, no matter where I live at, boo, you're going to get some sirens, okay? So, yeah, let's get this next load in the machine. These are delicate, so I'm going to try the delicate setting and see how that works out. Little by little, day by day, my apartment is coming together. At first, I was feeling like I've been here legit for only two weeks now. Only two weeks I've been in this apartment. And I was feeling like enough is not done. Oh, my gosh. Like... And everybody's telling me, like, chill, relax. When I moved here, I legit just moved with my clothes, my daughter's clothes, and our beds. Like, 
we didn't bring a whole bunch of nothing so i'm literally starting from scratch and although this is a new apartment um i only plan on being here for two years max and baby girl we moving into a house we are moving into a house so um if you're not familiar with my cash stuffing channel life of cherry go check that out because i will start saving and planning and budgeting to be able to move into a house within the next two three years max so i'm just buying stuff now you know that looks good that looks nice but i'm not going too crazy with everything when i get my house now when i get my house it's going to be laid it is going to be laid but yeah let's get these dishes washed and really quick cherry blossoms let me just say you have to be grateful for what you have in order to receive more in life if you're like oh i'm not satisfied oh this is not what i want oh like just being a debbie downer you're never going to elevate you're never going to receive more blessings in life you're never going to receive you know everything that you your heart desires so this apartment is better than where i was living before but i know this is not my end goal but baby i'm gonna treat this like it's a mansion okay so yeah i'm just rambling let's get to these dishes yeah, 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 yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low key, all cats, no breaks, baby, let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get low. the clothes is washing it has a lot of water inside right now it's just spinning some of the water out but it's moving like real slow real calm real smooth it's not as rough of a wash as the normal washes because this is a delicate load right now we're gonna wash and we got 35 minutes left this is how the dishes is looking and i'm about to put these dishes over here so I can start to wash these dishes, pour this out, and then I have these two pots to wash, which I'm going to wash last, and I'm going to actually wash these, dry them out, and put them away, like, right away. Yeah, so this is how we looking. Making progress, getting ish done. Right now, it's like 7 a.m., so it's been about an hour since I started laundry, putting the racks together, washing dishes, and so on for it, and yeah. Let's get back to these dishes.
right so the dishes are washed i want to get something to clean the sink so like once i'm done washing dishes i could like shine the sink up because although like it's dry it's looking real dull and real dingy but yeah the dishes are washed the sink is clean here's my dish rack here's all the dishes they are drying now your girl now i'm about to make some breakfast i'm about to make um cheese eggs on a croissant and i'm about to cut up this cantaloupe and yeah we'll be back all right so my second load finished everything is hung up and legit these clothes that i put first they're almost dry so thus far your girl is satisfied with the washing machine your girl then cleaned up her kitchen now i'm about to sit down um eat my breakfast and start my day so thank you so much for watching this video if this is the type of videos you like to see from me then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so your girl know to keep this content coming and if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll know every time i post a new video i love you for watching i will see you in my next video bye